What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video with today's topic of looking into the brand new perk called Bomber's Grief. And let me tell you, this perk brings a lot of grief if you can manage to even activate it. Now, I ran a lot, I mean a lot of LFG Nightfall to see how the perk works in its environment. And a lot of my thoughts for the perk is that it's nice to have on a weapon for tougher content that you know your team may die a lot on, but it needs to do a lot more than rely on being the only survivor on your team. And those that have used the perk will understand what I mean by this. From its description, it basically states that upon me the final player alive in your team, the final blow kills will auto refill your magazine until your teammates are back. Now on paper, this sounds great as using this in Nightfalls, Grandmasters, Dungeons, Legend Lost Sectors and the Special Assault Commissions with the tough modifiers are where this perk would surely be a welcome addition to a team. Thing is, this perk can only roll on Nightfall exclusive weapons such as the Paladrome, Shadow Price and the Swarm, leaving you not much option to experiment with other weapons. And if you have a team that knows what they're doing, then the perk will become useless as you won't be activating it as much. Now unless you're playing with an LFG group or group players who are very new to a mission and not used to tough content, then this perk becomes a waste to the general user who's trying to activate it. I played a lot of Nightfall missions from 1300 light level and I had a good number of times to try out the perk on my Shadow Price. And although the weapon was beneficially great at dealing damage and getting rid of enemies, the moment I was able to activate the perk I was pretty much done with the majority of enemies in the room. One thing you have to be aware of when you do activate the perk is to not reload or else you won't be able to maximise the perk. And this is something that a lot of veteran players who are used to FPS games will have to get used to which can be annoying from time to time depending on the activity you play. Another issue with the perk is that you can't activate it solo which I believe should have been a secondary option as well. As the perk isn't that strong and is limited to only a few weapons. Why this wasn't the case is unknown and the current way of activating it is still quite a lot to deal with and do remember some missions can't be completed solo while your team is down no matter what buffs you have going. On the positive side of things though, it does activate when there are only two players in the fire team. So if you decide to use this in a dungeon run with a new player and they die a lot, then this perk will see a lot of usage and the fact that you get an auto reload per kill makes it a perfect weapon for crowd clearing continuously with no reloads. One other thing to be aware of is the final weapon slot parry it can go with and using something like unrelenting for a continuous boost in health regen or one for all for a boost in damage for a short duration are the ideal perks to match for longer survivability of yourself. The perk as a whole is useful for PvE content where you're in a fire team who don't know what they're doing and you can easily activate it. From there you can easily go to town on whatever enemies you face and never have to reload until your teammates are back again. But unfortunately, it suffers the same way that celerity works and that it requires too much from the user to make it work. The fact that you have to rely on your teammates to die a lot to make the perk work is something that I see as a failure in terms of perk design as there are so much more better perks to choose from from over this. Now if they made it so that you can activate it while solo or while your teammates are alive and they get stronger the less teammates you have, then I can see this perk being a must have for free player based content just for how strong it then becomes. But sadly its usage in game is very very narrow. And unless you decide to carry a new player who would die a lot in endgame missions, it won't see a lot of uses from there on out. So my final verdict on the perk? Avoid it, unless Bungie hopefully buffs it in the future. So if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you did that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by, I'll see you on the next one.